Alright guys, so a quick tip for you guys. So after we have set our camera and our render engine for rendering, and you have already know how to uh, change the uh, render engine from Eve to Psycho, and of course there is the workbench, uh, but that uh, does not work too good. So uh, previously we just used the EV, and uh, if you like to um, more uh, precise to rendering, you can use Psycho. And uh, but they have a different algorithm for the light. Um, I think the uh, Psycho is pretty good, and of course. Um, you can change if you got a GPU attached to a computer or um, uh, embed into a computer. You can choose the GPU computer as well. Okay, so this will um, like um, improve the um, computational speed, and uh, you can get a pretty good computational result um, when you compare to um, CPU. Okay, because this GPU got more cores, especially uh, than when they're dealing with. Is um, uh, image and of course you can change um, that by changing the preference as well so if you go to the uh, preference I think um, we got the um, um, got a system and uh, I think we can get a queue there yeah and we can even got the uh, Sycom I think we can get the uh, rendering <clears throat> yeah, so the CUDA we can get the uh, uh, your um, GPU and you can choose it um, and uh, of course you can get a CPU but um, since I'm already recording this I, I can't choose both uh, but if you are not recording at the same time you can use that uh, this is ju just a um, uh, rendering device um, settings that you can um, use the help of your um, your RTS or whatever um, device that you already have and um, you, you may get a GTS um, so or whatever it is you just choose it it's just uh, if your computer have a, a GPU that you can choose it and of course you can choose the CPU as well so um, yeah and you, you can choose and change it here so once you have chosen that um, you can just choose the GPU compute so it got pretty um, quick for um, you to uh, yeah do the rendering.